Hi everybody, this is Beth McCullough. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. And we live in Des Moines, Iowa, but today my husband Steve and I are coming to you from sunny Chicago. Sunny so far. Sunny Maybe so not far. Maybe later tonight. Yeah, it's going to be rainy later. But we are in Chicago because Steve is a lifelong Cubs fan. I know it's a curse, isn't it, honey? Especially when we've lost 11 games in a row. Yeah. Go Cubs, go. He said last night before the game... He was going to stay until he got to sing. Go the, Cubs Go is the song they sing when they win. And it's just a huge party when you get to stand there and sing with all the other fans. But not last night. Not last night. It was not good. Hello, everybody. Hi, Carol. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Bev. Can you hear me okay? And is the picture okay? This is from the, the desk in our hotel room. And... Pam is on and Bridget is on. Hi, everybody. So today, we thanks for sharing, Pam. It'd be great if everyone would be willing to share the video. I'd really appreciate it. This is actually my card that's going to be my July thank you card. And I used my favorite Pierce Blooms dies. These were in the mini catalog and they carried over. They're not a bundle anymore, but you can find the dies on page 165, Pierced Blooms. And the set it goes with is In Bloom, which is on page 30. I will show you that quick too. But I love this card, it's easy to make and I hope you'll like it too. Here is the In Bloom stamp set. So could I make a comment about your card? Please do, honey. I was hoping you would. I, you know, I usually don't like white background because I think it's boring. But in this case, it's striking with the bright colors in front of it. So I think that's the best choice. Well, yay. I'm glad, I'm glad you approve. I was hoping you would. Well, when you asked me about the card originally, my first snap reaction, as always, was to say, does it have to have white as a background? <laughs> and then I thought, you know what? That looks good. So, are you happy to be in Chicago even though your Cubs are not doing so well? It's like I told you last night. It's not so much about the Cubs winning or losing as it is being in beautiful Wrigley Field, and in this case with my beautiful wife. Yeah. Actually, we had his, his brother has season tickets, so that's usually, he has two seats, and that's usually where we sit. And last night, Steve was reminiscing about the last game he took his dad to that he and his dad were in the two seats and it was a victory to put them into the playoffs and my dad was jumping up and down with all the other fans and he turned to me and said this is the best day of my life <laughs> and his his dad um did live to see them win the world series which was amazing yep so lots of happy memories so anyway for this card I made this card this weekend, and then I let Steve help me pick out the colors, and you'll be shocked what colors we picked out. So here they are. Hey, is Bermuda Bay one of the colors, honey? Bermuda Bay has to be one of the colors. In fact, um, when I was at Wrigley yesterday, I did look through the shops a little bit. Um, it was very warm at the game, and I took a break. It was air conditioned in the shops. And they had a Cubs hat in Bermuda. It was between Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana. But I was kind of impressed that the Cubs are on target for colors. But the colors for today are Magenta Madness, not one Steve would usually pick, Bermuda Bay, my favorite, and Highland Heather. And I'll show you what you need. It's just a card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then you got to turn the volume off on that, honey. <laughs> Sorry. And then two pieces of basic white cardstock, and they measure four by five and a quarter. One for the inside, one for the outside. And then you need six of these pierced bloom flowers. It's, there's two flowers in this set. It's the smaller one. And I layered these on top of each other. This actually was Steve's idea to layer them on top of each other like this. 
and then so you need six flowers two of each color and then you need three of these little or one of the little flowers now for this this is from the stitched rectangle set and I used the second smallest of these skinny rectangles and then the only other thing I used is in this new inspired thoughts it's got great words and look at this great dies I can't m wait to make some cards this fall with this and they even have a snow slope in here this um, when I look at this anyway, I see snow slope. Do you see snow slope, snow in front of the trees? Yeah. Isn't that gonna be pretty? Yes, it's going to be. The other thing that could be is a stream. A stream, you know, I never thought of a stream. A stream by the trees. Yes. And then we could make the trees be different colors. Yes, it could you be know, Wisconsin with the color, colorful leaves changing. Well, I guess we're going to have to go to Wisconsin then I, for inspiration. I, I want to go to Wisconsin. That would be fun. So we have been traveling a lot lately. Steve is working from home, and we both work from home. And after being home with COVID, we have taken the opportunity. We've been to Texas, St. Louis, and now Chicago. Way more traveling than we normally do. But we got up early and worked all morning and we'll go out and see Chicago for a little bit this afternoon and then work some more and then go to the game. So it's, it's nice to be able to fit it all in. But, and yesterday I drove all the way here and Steve worked all the way. It was almost six hours to get here. Yeah, although I did drive the last two hours. Yeah, he wanted to drive into Chicago and I was okay with that. Okay, so we're gonna stamp the inside of the card first. And I thought of this, Steve, I don't know that I've ever shown you this. Do you know how to line up the stamps? Um, you put them on lined paper. <laughs> You're cheating, right? So I have a piece of grid paper and I line up the block. If you ever have trouble stamping your sentiments not straight, I mean, the first thing to do is always stamp the sentiment before you glue it down into the card. But the other thing you can do is actually put it on your block straight. So line up your block on grid paper and then line up your sentiment on the line and then you'll be able to do it straight. Okay, so for the inside, I'm gonna use Highland Heather and I'm gonna stamp one of the in bloom flowers. Just, I like the envelope in the inside of the card to be cute. So we've told you what we're up to today. What are you all up to today? I hope everyone's having a great day. I will put this video on YouTube. So if you're watching it on YouTube, you can tell me replay in the comments. But for those on Facebook Live, what is happening in your world today? So I saw, Wendy is working as always. And when Wendy listens to this with the sound off. I wonder if it's interesting with the sound off. She doesn't know we're talking about her. Wendy, we're talking about you. <laughs> so that's all I'm gonna do for the inside. I'm putting thank you on the outside, but there's plenty of room to write a note. So what is Pam saying? Pam is doing laundry and then she has three cards to make. So I think the card making is the reward for doing the laundry. Oh, that's a good idea. What cards are you making? And have you decided what to do? And do you have in bloom? Would you make one of these? What did Karen just ben say? Ben is working, but she says retirement is really hard work. <laughs> retirement is hard work. Okay, so that is what I have on the inside. And then for the outside, I put the same color as the card base in the middle. You can put it Karen out. is having to ice and heat her stiff neck. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't and Tony sound good. had physical therapy on her knee and then lost power for two and a half hours. Oh Holy my, cow. lots going on. Did you get, you must have gotten power back if you're on, right? Does the that matter? She still has battery on her, on her plug, plug in all the things, Tony. So Tony is coming to see us this fall. 
If you are traveling through Iowa, you should let us know. Tony and her friend are going on a craft trip. Okay, so I put the stitched rectangles where I think I want them to go. And then I am going to stamp my sentiment first because I still might mess it up. It's possible, right? So Pam has two birthday and one anniversary cards to make and she's not decided what set she's gonna use, but In Bloom is one of her favorites. So you should make this one and just put happy birthday on there. That's, that's my advice for you. Okay, so the thanks so much um, looks pretty good, I think. And so I'm going to place these on here and take them off one at a time. Tony is explaining that she's actually on a stamping tour when she comes to see us with six different stamper friends to see between Pennsylvania and Iowa. Wow. That's a lot of stamping. A lot I'm, of stamping friends. I'm glad we made the cut. How did you decide who all you were going to visit, Tony? Do you think we could go on a stamping tour? Yeah, especially since some of your stamping friends are in Australia and New Zealand. <laughs> and England and, yeah. Ruth, and the Netherlands. Ruth has already invited us to Australia. Is there anyone out there who wants us, who would be willing to have us visit you? We don't have to stay with you. We would just, you know, like to come see you. So Highland Heather, Magenta Madness, and Bermuda Bay. Now we need to decide where they go, and I'm gonna put a flower together. So all I did to put the flower together is put a little glue or adhesive. Um, I've been on a stamp and seal. Usually I use liquid glue. Kevin and Bridget have decided that we need to go on a Southeast United States tour this winter. Do we get to visit Bev in Florida? Yeah and uh, Bridget in North Carolina, which, you know, it's kind of in the same general neighborhood. That would be so much fun. Hey, I did a video, well, for those of you who did the hand pen stamp camp with me, I did a video, I've been doing videos from everywhere. I did a video from lots of different places, but I forgot my adhesive when we were in, where were we, St. Louis? So do I get extra points for bringing all the adhesive today? <laughs> to do a stamping video with adhesive is, is kind of a bonus, right? So now that I have the flowers, I want to bedazzle them. So I'm going to bring in some rhinestones and just put those on the top. So this is so simple. This could be a totally mass produced card. So what part of Florida is Bev in? Bev is in central Florida, I believe. She can tell us. I was just worried about Hurricane Elsa. Yeah, we need to pray for the people in Florida. Okay, so this is one of the dyes too. This is Granny Apple Green. Bridget says adhesive is good. Yeah, you know, it's the little things, Bridget, you know, that are important. So all I'm gonna do for this leaf is put a little adhesive on the petal and then take my leaf, I'm gonna turn this down so there's no adhesive sticking out and put my leaf where I want it. So it's that, that easy. Can you guys see better now that we lifted the camera arm up? I feel like before I was always going off camera, so I hope it's, I hope it's going better now. So I have been busy selling shares, trying to win the trip to get Steve to the Western Caribbean. And thank you everyone who's been buying shares from me. I need to um, probably wait. How do we want this to go? Maybe we want this one up here. And this one here and this one over here. How does that look? Do you guys like that? Hi, Phyllis. I'm glad you're here. You're awfully quiet today. I'm Are thinking. I, I had a brainstorm, but I, you know, I'm filtering because it may not be a good one. 
Uh, should I ask what your brainstorm was? Well, or? I want to do whatever I can to help you in your goal to win this trip. And I now understand that there's something in it for me because I get to scoop down. <laughs> so, so that's why suddenly my mind started racing, thinking, what could I do? So yeah. I'm, I'm contemplating recording my song and you know, it into MP3s do they... for anyone that buys from you. You know, we haven't talked about this. I didn't even know that was a thing. But do you guys know about his song? Have we told you about the song? So it was probably three months ago. Mm -hmm. And Steve had a dream. And to back up, Steve is, he was a percussionist through high school. That's it. And he likes to sing. Um couple of our kids are even better singers than he is, but um, really hasn't done anything since high school. And he had a dream. Do you want to tell it? So I woke up and I'm like, well, that's probably just nonsense because most of my well, dreams Well, we didn't are. say what the dream was. It was a dream that about what I could do to help all the people that are really struggling, especially during COVID, people that are feeling desperate. And um, in the dream, suddenly the answer hit me, and that was, I should write a song for them, which is really stupid because I don't write songs, and I'm not talented in that regard, or at least I didn't think I was. Um, but by the time I woke up, I had the entire chorus melody in my head. And, but I thought, oh, it's probably just nonsense because most of my dreams usually are. So I went down to our piano, which I don't play, other than plunking one key at a time. I played the xylophone, so I can plunk one key. And uh, I plunked it out, and it hit me. That's actually something. That that sounds like a song. So I had the next let, two let days me off work. Let me interrupt you. Do you like number one or number two? It's like I'm at the optometrist. Okay, go ahead. Which looks better, one <laughs> or two? I'm always like, I can't decide. <laughs> So, um, the, uh, oh, there's a vote for two. There's a vote for one. Another vote for one. One and two. Uh, Carolyn likes both. She's diplomatic. Oh, that's sweet of you. So, I, I had two days off of work, and Beth had already warned me I better find something to do because she didn't have time to entertain me the whole time. And so, I spent those two days actually writing the song. And now I've gotten some very talented musicians help perfect it. And uh, it really sounds like something. I'm kind of proud of it. Yeah. So is that weird that my husband dreams a song and gets it up and gets up and writes it down? And I don't know. Do you guys do that? I don't even remember my dreams. So. So I think it's a God thing. I think it was the Holy Spirit. So, so that's what the lyrics are. So, so what is it? It's, um, there's three stanzas or whatever. It's from feeling desperate to having hope, having hope to be being assured, having the assurance of the Lord. And, um, I don't know, let us know if you want to hear it, but Steve might, um, it Steve might, might be an incentive it. for sales. Yeah. Do you think so? <laughs> but anyway, Thank you for joining us today. You guys are awesome. Thanks for leaving us a heart. Or that was that a heart for Steve's song. But um, you guys are sweet. And I hope you have a blessed day. I am still selling the shares. And I would love it if you would be willing to um, either place an order with me or, or order the shares. We will have fun, Karen, at the game tonight. Bridget says, I don't usually remember my dreams, but I made a card from a dream once. See, That's inspiration from dreams, it happens. You know, Bridget, I think a lot of card makers do dream. I dream ideas for cards and then wake up and like sketch it out. Pam says, thank you, Beth and Steve. Thank you for sharing. Have a great time and stay safe. Thanks so much. You guys have a blessed day and please come back next Wednesday at noon. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.